Hello, science people. Today, I want to talk to you about three different kinds of cells. There are stem cells, other cells capable of dividing, and there's permanently differentiated cells. So let's start with stem cells. You've probably heard of stem cells. Stem cells are amazing. They can constantly divide and become any type of cell. So usually a cell, let's talk about your skin cells. Usually your skin cells, for example, they divide. They're always dividing because you're always getting new skin. So what they do is they divide and they become whatever cells next to them. So your skin cells divide and become more skin cells. So your skin is constantly dividing and becoming more skin. But a stem cell can become any type of cell. That's why we want stem cells. Stem cells are amazing. A stem cell can become a brain cell, a skin cell, a heart cell, any type of cell. So stem cells are very valuable because they divide and can become anything. So the other cells capable of dividing are like your skin cells, your liver cells, any cell that you have on your body that divides. It doesn't become any type of cell. It usually becomes whatever its parent cell was. So if skin cells divide, they become two skin cells. Liver cells divide, they become two liver cells. And we just call that other cells capable of dividing. Now, the scary one is permanently differentiated cells. Now, permanently differentiated cells don't divide. What happens is they become, so they usually came from a stem cell, they become a cell and then they're stuck. They don't divide, they live that way their entire life, and you don't get new ones. And some of our favorite organs are permanently differentiated cells. So our heart cells are permanently differentiated cells. Our brain cells are permanently differentiated cells. Our nerve cells are permanently differentiated cells. And that's why whenever you have heart damage, brain damage, or nerve damage, it's so scary because these cells don't divide. My heart cells have been beating for almost 40 years, just going boom, 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 boom. And that is amazing but also scary. That's why we really need to take care of our heart and our brain and our nerves because when they get damaged, we don't get new cells. Now, when I cut my arm or I cut my hand or I cut my skin, I, I'm like Wolverine, I regenerate. That's fantastic, it's amazing. And that's because these are other cells capable of dividing. Now, if we were made of all stem cells, we would have superpowers. We'd be able to regenerate anything. And there are some organisms that are like that. We have some animals that are made up of lots of stem cells. Uh, for example, we have amphibians where they can lose an arm and regrow it because they have so much stem cells in their body. We don't have that luxury. And so we need to be careful with our bodies. So I hope this gave you a better idea of the three types of cells inside your body. We have stem cells, we have other cells capable of dividing, and we have permanently differentiated cells. And again, we really want to take care of those permanently differentiated cells. And stem cell research is research about taking stem cells and turning them into those permanently differentiated cells to help us with injuries that we might have. And so if you have brain damage, can we take stem cells to help you regenerate the part of your brain that was damaged? Can we take stem cells and use them to regenerate the part of your nerves that have damage? Heart attacks are so scary because when you have a heart attack, that means part of your heart is dying because it lost oxygen. And so that damage stays there, it's permanent because we don't get new heart cells. So could we use stem cells to regenerate part of the heart that has been damaged. And that's what stem cell research is. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy talking about these types of cells and I'll see you next time.